Hello everyone and welcome to Henry Wheels Movie Reviews, where I take a look at films I've seen before that others likely will have done. And today, to continuing our Autism Awareness Month, I'm going to have a look at a film from Sweden called Simple Simon. All I really know about this is that it stars Bill Skarsgård of the Skarsgård clan, son of Stan. There's just an innumerable number of actors in that family, so... Let's give it a go. So Bill Skarsgård plays Simon, a man with Asperger's syndrome. He lives with his brother Sam and their girlfriend Frida. However, after Frida grows exasperated with Simon's need, demands and strict adherence to his schedule, uh, also walking in on them bumping uglies to ask why there's no toilet paper, she moves out and breaks up with Sam. And not being able to cope without her there, Simon attempts to interview multiple women for the role of Sam's new girlfriend in order to fill the hole left by Frida. And while this happens, Simon strikes a bond of sorts with a local woman named Jennifer, whom he's determined to make Sam's new girlfriend. This was really sweet. I haven't felt my heart warm so much watching a film in a good while. Bill Skarsgård is excellent, and it's no wonder he's gone on to do bigger things. His family's just full of it. the talent. It, it's chock-a-block. I really like his portrayal of anxiety regarding things not being consistent, particularly the moment where he becomes incredibly stressed out when it's taco night, but Sam is saying, forget about tacos, let's get some pizza, which he doesn't take very well. I was never this unreasonable with demands and routines, but a lot of it does ring true for me, definitely. Plus, yeah, I'm not a big fan of people touching me either, in all honesty. I also really like Sam's character. Simon is a very high maintenance person to be around, and he tries his absolute best to make sure that his wants and needs are catered to. And I know a lot of autistic people and they talk often about trauma from family members or peers, shunning them and not accepting them, treating them like freaks. This isn't the case with Sam. He puts Simon ahead of himself and really cares for his brother. It's lovely to see a character so understanding. Perhaps it's a Scandinavian thing, I, I really don't know. In any case, he's a star. And while I understand Frida's annoyance that Simon is in the way all the time and that Sam spends a lot of time with him, it's unreasonable to be surprised by this when you know what you're getting into. As Sam said to Simon after Frida leaves him, we don't need her. Simon is really clueless about social conventions, which is not really surprising considering I was like that and I know many other people who are as well. But selecting the exact traits Frida had and interviewing random women to see if they share them is a bit inappropriate, especially if one of them is if they make noises in the bedroom. Though it does learn later on that love just doesn't work like that. It's not a checklist that once fulfilled results in a happy relationship. It's far more dynamic I thought the way it illustrated this, that not everything is so black and white, was pretty good. And I think for someone who is autistic, this could potentially be helpful for them if they are struggling in terms of understanding social cues and how relationships work, because our brains can be very logical and Love doesn't give a toss about logic. It just doesn't. The character of Jennifer, who is r really charismatic, really helps Simon learn more about life and introduces him to new things, which includes a scene where he tries alcohol for the first time. And I think it's supposed to be vodka. After drinking it, he doesn't even spit it out. He just opens his mouth and it just pours out which uh, was uh, one of the, the best moments in the film for me. I should mention, this is a really funny film. I had a big smile watching it all the way through. It's 
really, really charming. I'm going to give this a yeah, out of 10. I'd really recommend anyone who likes quirky comedies from the likes of Wes Anderson to give this a go since it's very entertaining and will slap a big smile across your face. And I'm glad I picked it for this season I'm doing for Autism Awareness because otherwise I may not have got around to seeing it since I have a watch list the length of the Bayo tapestry. So thanks for watching and let me know what you thought of the film in the comments. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe and as always I'll see you very soon with some more content coming shortly.